Hi, welcome back to CES 2012. I'm here with Corning, who are very, very famous for their Gorilla Glass, but now it's been up improved to Gorilla Glass 2. So we're going to see a demonstration of just how good it is. Okay, so here I'll start with a non-strengthened piece of solar lime glass. The glass has been abraded to create some damage in the glass. This is to simulate the kind of damage that a phone would see in a purse or in a pocket, right, where it gets scratched by keys and coins. Okay. So it's somebody's regular phone which has been used and abused for a couple, well, six months? Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to put it in this lever press, I'm going to push down on it, and I'm going to see what kind of load the glass can sustain before it breaks. Okay. Okay. Non-strengthened piece of glass, one millimeter thick, okay. 42 pounds, the glass breaks. Okay. And see? is it weakened just because it's got so many little scratches in That's there? That's correct, yeah. The glass is weakened because of the scratches. So now I take a strengthened piece of glass, again with the same kind of damage, right? One millimeter thick, in fact, 1.1 millimeter thick. Okay. Put that in here, I'll reset my, my press. Right. If it works, there you go. It's gonna start blinking. Okay. 63 pounds. Okay, so about 50% more. About 50% more, okay. This is the current generation of Gorilla Glass. This is the product that's out in the market, right? We've got it, got it on about 600 million phones or 600 million consumer devices. Okay. That's quite a few. It's quite a few devices, okay. Again, one millimeter thick. In fact, it's actually already thinner than the soda lime. This was all at 1.1. This is at one millimeter. And so this is your own special recipe of making the glass tougher. That's exactly right. Yep. That's exactly right. Okay. Go on, push it down. Okay. 104 pounds. Glass doesn't break. Okay. Okay. One millimeter current generation Gorilla Glass. Okay. We've come up with Gorilla Glass 2. It's got a higher damage resistance, allows us to go thinner. Okay. So here's 20% thinner, it's at 0.8 millimeters. Okay. So the theory would hold that this is going to be at least as tough as Gorilla Glass 1, even though it's thinner. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, 120 pounds, can't break the glass. Okay, and that's at least three times tougher, if you want to use that term, than regular glass. It's significantly tougher than regular glass, yes. Yeah. Okay, and it allows you to go thinner. Okay, and okay. what does thinner provide? Uh, basically, OEMs are trying to cut down on the stack design so they can come out with thinner products, right? So a glass, which reduces the thickness by 20%, will allow OEMs to move to thinner products. Okay. In addition, it allows you to get brighter images because there's less of glass that the light has got to go through. It improves touch sensitivity on the glass. Yeah. Okay. So all of those come with the new Gorilla Glass too. And I presume, even if it's just a few grams, it makes the device lighter or possibly lighter? Possibly lighter, yeah. Right. And when do we see this in the market? Uh, oh, OEMs have already signed up for it. There's a couple of press releases out today, so we should see it in the market very soon. Right. And will this version 2 completely supersede version 1? Or do you see some customers taking up the original Gorilla Glass still? Um, the performance of the glass is so much better that we believe that Gorilla Glass 2 will become the standard in the, in the market. Okay. And what about your competitors? Where are they in terms of strength and glass? We don't talk about competitors, right? But we certainly believe that we've got the best glass on the market. Okay, fantastic. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. That's pretty impressive. To see more impressive things, head back for more coverage from CES 2012.